Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Fun Learning with Serena and today we are going to read aloud the story Evie's Super Emotion, a children's book about managing anxiety and emotions by Kurtley Anya. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad you're here. It is the first day at my new school and I need your help. If I tell you what happened, will you promise to help me? This was me earlier. I was just getting ready when... Hurry up, Evie! Quick, let me put on your new bracelet from Grandma. I can do it myself, Mom. But it is a B A N G L E. Bangle, not a bracelet. Sorry, I forgot to tell you my name. I am Evie. Though I am sure you could have guessed as my name's on the front of the book. But back to when my mom took me to school. Remember to listen to your new teachers and if you get nervous, just... I won't get nervous, mom. Bye. Wow, just look at the school. It's like a castle. Much bigger than my old school. A bit too big. There are too many children. It was too crowded. I could not move. People pushing, people shouting. It was too loud, too fast, too scary. I just wanted to hide. My heart was racing. My stomach felt funny. And I was breathing so fast. I didn't want it to be here. I wished everyone would leave me alone. I wished no one could see me. I just wish I was invisible. And then, oh my gosh, I don't know how it happened. But I turned invisible. It was so cool. I could do whatever I want. I could sing as loud as I want. I could eat all the hidden sweets. What can I say except you are welcome? I could draw wherever I wanted. I could sneak up and scare everyone. Wow, that looks so cool. I could. So does that. I could only play by myself. I didn't want to be invisible anymore. I wanted to join in and make friends. That's why I need your help. I can't go out and talk to all these people. I know if you stop reading, I can stay here forever. Well, you are still reading, so that didn't work. I guess we have to think of another idea. Help me please. I don't know what to do. How do you think Evie is feeling? What made her feel like this? Evie is feeling anxious. Her heart is racing. She is breathing really fast and she is scared. This could be because she is starting a new school. Or because she is meeting a lot of new people. Meeting new people can be scary. But feeling scared, anxious or shy is normal. We all feel this way sometimes. We might also feel like this when we have to read out loud or go somewhere new. When we feel like this, we should try not to hide or run away from what is happening. Have you ever felt how Evie is feeling? What could Evie do? Let's tell Evie to try these three things. Number one, remain calm, relax, take a deep breath and try counting to ten. Number two, think positively. Think about the good things that could happen or the good things about the new place or experience. Number three, take it slow. Don't feel pressured to do everything at once. 
do a little bit at the start and see how you feel after now let's see what ev will do thank you those are some great ideas so first it was breathing right <sighs> yes it's working i'm becoming visible again then i have to try and think positively and the final thing was to take it slow i don't have to talk to everyone all at once i can try doing one small thing and just talk to one person that's not as scary hi um i am evi it's my first day i am noah where have you been all day can you help me with my spelling okay kids it's home time make your way to the playground they look correct except this one it's i n v i s i b l e so what did you get up to today e nothing much daddy i learned so much today thanks again for your help i love my bangle though i do wish i could go invisible again This is a very beautiful story managing the anxiety and emotions in children. Kurtli Anya has beautifully put up the story really well. So I will put the link of this book. Uh, you will find it in Amazon, and you can uh, read aloud the story to your kids. If they are also suffering with some anxiety or emotion, they might not be coming and sharing it to you. But uh, we as elders, at times we also become short of words, or we are unable to explain it to them. like how to handle the things and everything when they are in a new class or in a new environment or a new school in this story ev has been told three things so you can also try telling your children those three things and you can always help them out thank you for watching everyone